now just flying to meet them with these infantry units. Lifting off that second command center that, that I'd like to make in my base to this natural expansion, I'm actually going to try to land that right beside these Zerg units while they know that they're while they see that command center. So at the same time, using this command center as maybe a distraction, I'm going to move out with these infantry units now with the support of these dropships. Can they provide the edge that the Terran player needs to clean out this force? Stemming up yet again, taking out some Zerglings, not focusing down those roaches very well, but these Zerglings here are the real threat as with those speed upgrades, they're able to overwhelm my force pretty pretty well. But uh, there's no hydralisks or any ranged attack units that can threaten this command center for the most part, so I'm going to leave that floating there. Coming back now with these infantry units to try to finish the job they started, but I think they're in over their heads. They just can't take down these zerglings, and uh, Sarian now is will shortly, I imagine, be bringing those zerglings in as reinforcements. But yeah, this command center and these medevacs are going to fly cockily overhead, or rashly even, but. Finally, now these Zerg units pulling back to the safety of their own base, or, or regrouping, it looks like. Coming back for a second attempt at this base. Focusing this command center, I don't know if that's the right choice, but <laughs> I, I think because Sarian sees, yeah, I'm, I'm not lifting this off, I'm making a planetary fortress, but um, yeah, trying to focus down this planetary fortress now instead of going for my marauders. Sarian knows that I can't lift up my command center while the upgrade is going. I'm canceling that upgrade now and I'm only just lifting off this command center. Forced to lift off the command center with 40 HP. It's going to be very close. It's burning down as we speak. A little bit of distress shown for myself over the chat log. I'm bringing in these SCVs. <laughs> that is incredible. I save the command center with this mule and these two SCVs as it burned down to 1 HP. So. For me, anyway, this game was worth casting just for that occurrence right there. That uh, that was finally a good omen and a just a string of good luck for my Terran gameplay. So we're pairing that command center back up to 700 HP now. I want to be landing that as soon as possible. I need to try to keep up with income, but you guys can see actually, even operating off of one base, the Terran race is extremely resilient because, yeah, they can hold their front door so easily, and these mules, they really, really increase the amount of income that you receive. I, I peaked there at about 1,000 minerals per minute. Stimming up here, easily cleaning up these zerglings. These medevacs are going to be healing these units back up to full HP eventually, provided they have the energy for it. But right now, with the confidence of the second base up and running, I'm not getting that planetary fortress. I, don't, I can't afford it right yet. But I am, yeah, moving down this narrow cor corridor, this very ominous corridor towards the Zerg base. Probably going to be getting a free uh, Overlord kill along the way. Combat shields now are now in play for myself as well as no upgrades just yet, but stim packs and concussive grenades are researched. Actually, plus one upgrades just finished on my infantry unit, so a good time for a timing attack would be right now. I need to get these units in play, I need to get them attacking. Every minute I waste is a minute spent not using that new upgrade, so actually I'm going probably going to spot this Mutalisk, forced to let that fly towards my base. I, this, I have this other orbital command now at this expansion right here. Don't have time to saturate it just yet because we have a little bit of a confrontation here at the Zerg natural expansion. Whoa, doing that really decreases the FPS, I should stop that, but taking down that spine crawler. Finally, wading into the Zerg front door, we have these Mutalisks forcing my SCVs to back out of my mineral line. They're actually forced to withdraw. I'm trying to put down some missile turrets in retaliation, but th yeah, this missile turret just going up in time. I don't know that'll be enough to clean up with Mutalisks though. Taking out that spire, preventing any additional Mutalisks from being created. But I have completely halted income at this at uh, this expansion. Just starting now to saturate the position over here. And it looks like this missile turret has barely just finished. There are two Mutalisks here that are persevering, but that being said, I'm cleaning up Sir Ann's main tech buildings over here, even throwing down a scan just to check for bird units or just anything, really. A little bit of a paranoid scan there, if I was to say that. But it looks like I have finally pushed away those Mutalisks. The Planetary Fortress is up with the support of those missile turrets. I now have my third expansion, or my second expansion here, using the mules to saturate that position. And Sarian calls good game, cursing those marauders. 
And what I experienced as a fun game, uh, which was Terran vs. Zerg on Incineration Zone, has completed. I was able to uh, survive through those Roach and Zergling attacks just long enough to get these dropships off, long enough to get that one infantry upgrade out, and long enough to finally just wade my way through this front door into the Zerg base. Thanks for watching, guys, and take care.